Hello YouTube, and hello fellow Beyond Earth players. I am Pinstar, and this is Beyond Earth Strategy and Tactics, episode 13. So, in our last episode, we got ourselves uh, another two levels of purity. We actually got a, uh, a double out of, uh, out of that last uh, tech discovery, which means not only uh, did we get ourselves uh, better... Uh, uh, well, we got better strength when uh, uh, fighting with aliens, which is kind of a wasted benefit. Eh. But more importantly, we've got ourselves uh, some improvements to our uh, rover and our missile units. So now, hopefully, we should be able to start inflicting some real damage against Brasilia and possibly take it over. So right now, I am focusing my production more on uh, artillery units rather than... Uh, just gunner units, which I was previously doing. The gunner units I did produce, I'm certainly not getting rid of. Uh, they'll be good for support and backup. But uh, the real stars of the show are now going to be uh, our artillery units, backed up by our uh, rovers and uh, some marines while we're at it. And we're going down the bionics tree, not only for that really awesome bio lab, but also uh, for the combat suits, which is one of its leaf techs. And also another level of... Uh, of purity affinity while we're at it, so huzzah. All right, Megan, you just finished an artillery, so one art one artillery deser deserves another. Since you're out of uh, infrastructure buildings to build anyway, might as well keep cranking these things out. Got the production to make it happen pretty swiftly. That uh, alien nest that recovered on our territory uh, that still makes them nice and friendly to us is spitting out aliens and keeping Ark probably annoyed uh, as all heck. And it's also those aliens seem to have been preventing Ark from uh, expanding northwards, because there's a lot of open land up here that Ark does not seem to have uh, made use of because of some alien nests up there. So get with the program, Ark. What is Ark's affinity anyway? They are, they're going harmony. That is why. They're, why were they shooting at the aliens before? Uh, I don't know. But eh, you know what? They do. Um, and they have cooperation with Franco or Beria. That could be bad, but, uh, yeah. You know what, Elodie? You are the uh, second most powerful. Bonjour, um, mon ami. Can we get a, um, cooperation agreement? I think not. No? Okay. That's fine. I'm, uh, I'm not gonna do anything to antagonize you. Uh, Tama, who is our currently most powerful person, um, is, uh, uh on good terms with us. Do we, um, Good to see you see again. Do a cooperation. Nope. Okay. Not this time. Um. Discuss. Tell me. What do I have? Um, That's so true. What? <laughs> oh yeah. So he's going. Um, was he going supremacy? He is going supremacy, and he's actually doing pretty darn well for himself. Supremacy. I've got a, a lot of uh, Firaxite coming in here. I might be able to get some lucrative deals selling that to him, because I really don't care if he starts building the uh, Firaxite-based units, because uh, he can get grow nice and powerful across the globe, uh, for all I care, and we can get a lot of money and science and other goodies out of him. Um, so he's going to be a good trading partner down the road once we get our Firaxite hooked up. All right, we are, again, consciously keeping our units out of Brasilia's borders, um, just so they don't, uh, they can't take pot shots at us. And then once our uh, artillery is done. Okay, more circles of love. Woo! Yes, yeah, circles of loves, hugs all around, we ate the caravan, yum, yum, yum. Up to up past three thousand energies. Remember, remember back in the early game when we were sweating over negative energy deficits? Yeah, no, I don't either. Okay. Um. All right. Well, we failed. Uh. Ooh, my gun's up to two. All right. Well, I'm gonna have to make a uh, move. Uh, move a counter insert. No, counter insurgency. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. One of those other agents in there, sooner rather than later. Um, and it just so happens that I have a nice free agent. Uh, so let's reassign you to Magan as a uh, K-1 
counter agent to bring that intrigue level down because I don't want them getting some uh, higher level stuff going against me. And uh, no doubt Ark is uh, probably putting the spurs to me. So an extra reason why we don't want to go past negative 10 health because that would be really bad, especially with Ark um, probably loading up on spies against me. Ion! More artillery for Ion. Three turns is not bad. And you guys. And trade vessel. Janal. Heck yeah. Do internal when you can. It's more efficient that way because both of your cities get the benefits of it. And this gunner. This gunner is going to go. This gunner is going to switch spaces. Or not. Here we go. Here we go, a little, little shuffle there. Although, that effectively did nothing. <laughs> I should just have moved them all down one. Oh well. Okay, looks like we're not going to be able to go, go seaward right that way. Which is fine. Automated exploration. Trade convoy, back to MAGA, and heck yeah. Ion armor. Heck yeah. Why don't we uh, bring you down here? Uh, also, just to see what there is to see down here, and also uh, hit them from the south when the time is right. And uh, you guys, this explorer. Um, yeah, why don't you come on down here before the price is right? And he failed siphoning energy, but that's all. Hmm. Hack jets, eh? Well, there goes my explorer. Wonder if you can send tack jets to uh, an outpost, or if you have to wait for it to grow to full strength. Let's uh, let's take a look. And why is Ion only having one tack jet? Uh, that seems problematic. And uh, oh, Magan has none. I has none. Mm, I need more tack jets. Well, after you finish your artillery, start making more tack jets. Um, and actually, let me just take a look at this one. Rebase mode. You cannot go to an outpost. Okay, well, that makes sense. Then you just stay on uh, oh, overreach there. Uh, let's see here. Ah, yes. So you keep on making your stuff here. Um, laboratory sediment. Food from Marsh. Yeah, clinic. Gunner. Alright, so yeah, we're just going to... Actually, yeah, you go down one, and then uh, why don't you finish off this uh, rover here. Might as well get uh, some death dealing here. Is that, uh, that is Ark. Yeah, let's go on here and stomp on some Ark trade vessels here. Gunner! That's our worker now. Thank you very much. I was, uh, I was uh, about to comment that I needed to make a, a worker for this place. I'm like, no, Brasilia will supply the workers. Thank you. Uh, attack jet, uh, air intercept. Yes. And you guys are going to trade places with the missile rover. Or the artillery, rather. That's, yeah, that's just grassland. So when I'm ready, I will move you here. I'm not quite ready. I want more artillery um, available to be able to, to step up to the plate, so to speak. All right, you guys can go down one, which means you guys can go down one. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Waste your attack jets trying to kill me. I've got air intercepts going. Brasilia thinks it's going to be able to take the airs for airspace from me. I don't think so. In fact, once this... Uh, once this war is over, um, and once I get myself my battle suits, I think my next tech is going to be getting carriers, because I'm going to be a bit of a sea power here, and uh, being able to wield air power from the sea 
It's going to be useful in case I come into any other conflicts. Alright, Magan, why don't you make me attack jet? Uh, born guy, you already finished that. That was quick. Um, Cyto Nursery? Sure. Actually, more health is, at this point, uh, a little bit uh, redundant. Um, thorium Reactor. Well, I am starting to eat up on my energy here, so... Hmm, although... Do I have copper here? I don't have copper. That's okay. That never stopped me before. Yeah. Alright, you know what? Let's just go to the Cyto Nursery anyway. Because uh, now I'm above 10, which means, yeah, plus, plus 10 uh, production in city. Um, uh, minus 50% intrigue in cities from hostile covert or agents. So, yeah, staying above 10 is actually being a good thing. What do we got here? Colonial Grid Thorium Reactor. More energy or more production? Now, that's a good question. Energy or production. Now this is see this is a little, some of them are no brainers because like you know it's like do you want a new trade route or do you want plus one energy? Duh. But this one this is actually kind of an even trade. Do you want more production or do you want more energy from something that you're building for the sake of energy anyway? And you know what? In my case, I'm actually going to take the energy. Uh, mainly because when you're building a thorium reactor, you want it for more energy. So if you want more energy, you might as well get it for more and more energy. So, boom. And what do we have here? Aha, you guys. And, ah, we have our, oh, we already have a paddock on there. Okay. Uh, is Thabo going, no, Thabo's taking their sweet time getting, getting that hooked up. Are you Thabo? Daisy Bones. All right, well, fine. Uh, Desert Hill, that looks like a mine site to me. Since uh, well, the other special stuff hasn't been hooked up. All right, we are not ro quite ready to move our artillery in. Or them. You guys, um, take a knee. Take a knee. Take a knee. Trade Vessel. Ah, Camp Cascade finally leveled up. And look at that food. And holy crap, look at that energy. Holy crap! 36 energy! Boom! That's like half... That's half my military in one trade unit. <laughs> I exaggerate not. Alright, let's get this gunner in the city and healing while we, uh, uh, before they, uh, die to something silly. Before I tell heal. No, this worker! worker. This is a uh, Phyraxite. Nine turns. You would die to that. Uh, why don't we hook up the fruit and then this Phyraxite before we uh, get working on this. Well, what are you at? You're at 90 hit points. So if I leave you here nine turns, good chances I'm going to forget about you and you're going to die. Uh, Alright, let's hope we remember. Let's hope we remember. Uh, I think we ate that trade uh, trade vessel, so let's carry on. Um, or maybe not. All right, our artillery is here. Okay, artillery number two. I think we want to station here and then have them set up on that ridge there uh, the next turn over. So we'll get you in position. And yeah, Intrigue level is down. Once Intrigue hits zero, I'll uh, get that agent back into the field. Not that they're going to have much luck increasing my Intrigue with my uh, plus uh, my, my uh, next level of health uh, healthiness. And you guys! All right, well, that, there is a, uh, there's a worker I could poach uh, next turn anyway. shooting at the aliens that's fine oh is that an alien yeah it is an alien nest well let kp do what kp is going to do i'm not going to fight her on that sheesh Alright, you guys are going to be stealing me a worker. 
Huzzah. And um, heck, next turn I'll steal another worker. Artillery. All right. You guys, this artillery I'm going to send, I'm going to approach from the, you want to approach from the south? No, we can have this one approach as well. All right, we'll get a mine going here and more artillery. Okay, I think we've reached overkill levels here. Um, but there is no kill like overkill, so hey, why not? Um... I'm just trying to think of efficient angles of attack here. Well, let's send you down here. I'm uh, not quite ready to make my push yet. And an artillery for you. I know what angle you're coming from. An attack jet. Good. Well, let's rebase you to... Can you not go to Ion? not. Can I not send you anywhere? Alright, hang on. Let's try something else here. Alright, enough with the tag jet. Stop. No, I'm not deleting the unit. I want to go to a different unit. This tag jet, I can rebase you to... Um... There. But I don't want to rebase you from there, because I want you guys on the front line. Well, hmm. Do nothing. And yeah, you're too far away to rebase to uh, Bogani. Um, and you're like, apparently too far away to go to Ion, which would be too far away to go to Zero C. Alright, well, I didn't realize that. Well, hey, uh, Mega needs, a, uh, needs some air support anyway, so why not? Got a station over here. Uh, unfortunately, not seaside. Alright, well, uh, that's not going to be doing so good for us. So, why don't we. Oh, heck, make more gunboats. Might as well get our sea power even more established. You guys, Ion, um, yeah, make me a tack jet. You guys, you already have three tack jets. Um, yeah, go back to, to building civilian buildings, and you guys have three tack jets. Hmm. Make, just, just because you are so darn close, make me a, uh, why don't you make me an armor? Alright, Megan is back below two. This guy's just going to camp here until, uh, I go down to zero. KP? Yeah, why not? I mean, you are smashing the alien. Actually, if they kill those aliens, I can stomp the nest and uh, work on my quest without, uh, without uh, completely alienating myself. No pun intended. Um, from the aliens. If you listen at night, Actually, why don't I do that? Sometimes he Alright, well, so let's see it. Let me just confirm I still have that quest. Um, no, we're not uh, doing that. Uh, Cult for Cell, Establish Network, and Krabost. Alright, I think I might send that my agent to Krabost just to do it for the quest. Till, kill 10 alien units. Nope. Uh, two of any orbital unit. Yeah, I need one more of those. Terrascape improvements. We're gonna. We're still working on that. Um, hostile takeover. Destroy for far base one. Nope. Nope. And destroy two alien nests. It's still there. Okay. So here's an alien nest, and we can go destroy this one. Now this is probably gonna drop me out of blue. But I don't have any uh, super fragile units, so we're gonna go do that. Actually, they're still blue to me, so I've I've befriended them so much that they uh, they were cool with that. Um, 
I could go and uh, smash this nest um, for and for for uh, completion of that. Because what I do want is I it does give um, points of the, towards the purity affinity, which is something I really need right about now. Um, whereas friendliness with the aliens, I mean, they would drop them from blue back down to more normal levels, but I've already got the uh, reversed polarity on my trade unit, so they're not going to. Uh, um, uh, really, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna do do that because this alien nest can respawn, and then I can go back to befriending them. And yeah, we just got I'm ourselves a new affinity point. And I'm grateful that we are. And more food and population, and a little bit of energy. Sorry, guys, my bad. Quest told me to. Don't be too mad. Ah, we're going to build ourselves an institute, uh, because there is a special quest for that. Uh, and it's going to let us uh, get a slingshot tech. Actually, let me look at my tech web before I do that, just to make sure I'm ready for that slingshot tech. Uh, virtues, diplomacy, quests and victories. Let me make sure I have a really good... See, augmentation... Uh, the, well, the Daedalus letter sucks. Uh, it would be more for uh, surrogacy. Um, the Aegis would be really nice. Uh, nanotechnology, well, that would open up the, the, uh, um, the nano pasture. That would be really good. Uh, the Lev Destroyer. Oh, the Lev Destroyer. Mm. Um. Yeah, and that would also open up ourselves uh, um, the Exodus Gate. Granted, we can't build that until we get much higher in purity, but yeah, yeah, that's just some really, really yummy stuff right there. Um, nanothermite would be, actually, nanothermite kind of sucks. The nano pasture, um, actually, that means okay. It's just really a. Uh, uh, um, unlocking that. Nano machinery is, well, that's, servo machinery is going to be uh, what's what we're going to grab next. Um, then there's social dynamics, which gives us the civil creche, good. Soma distilleries are really good. And the Terra Vault, mmm. And then that also uh, frees up uh, um, us to get that. That might actually be my, my slingshot tech. Because uh, I can grab that from genetic design, um, and New Terran Myth would be would be something I can grab, um, and yeah, just yeah, two free virtues plus seven culture, yeah, I I might go down the the, the wonder route. Um, all right, so I yeah I think I'm gonna grab that, which means. I can grab that institute because that'll line up our quest for a free tech. And gunboat, let's get our gunboat down here. Just keeping an eye on our different cities. Tack jet, uh, air intercept, artillery. Move on down. And yeah, you guys gra keep grabbing workers. And yeah, it looks like this was the site of a. Uh, of a Brasilia thing here. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna move you right here, and you guys will be all ready, ready to roll. All right, well then, you guys um, start working for me. Get uh, Zerisi up nice and fast. Ah, we finished our Terrascape here. Now for more Terrascapes, and that looks like the place to do it. Um, and we certainly have the uh, the energy to maintain them. Um, and it's a good trade-off for what we get out of them. Because even though it looks like, because um, look here, it looks like it's just an even trade-off. You know, you're paying six units of energy for plus two, plus two, plus two, uh, minus one. But, uh, but we're still getting more out of it than you realize, because one unit of energy is essentially, uh, two units of energy are essentially equivalent to one unit of anything other than energy, just just based on the availability and the overall usefulness. Um, so these terrascapes are actually going to be 
a, a net benefit. And then when we unlock some text down the line to improve our Terrascapes, it just becomes even more efficient. Plus, we have a quest for it, so might as well. All right, you guys. Um, yeah, I'm going to have you cross that river. You're still two away. Um, so you'll be able to get into position. You guys will be um, two turns away from uh, being able to set up as well. Because that's, yeah, it's a hill, river, grassland. Actually, why don't you trade places with these guys? I know you're going to take a hit from the miasma, but uh, yeah. All right, you guys can take one, two, and then get ready to set up. So I think next turn is when we're going to start our big ol' assault. Um, yeah, you guys, well, you guys can take a, a, a round of uh, miasma there. That's fine. You're still going to be pretty effective. All right, gunboat still, uh, still exploring. What's our uh, operation? All right, boring guy. We, um, yeah, let's let's keep it up, uh, keep it up here. Science and culture. Actually, we want the extra culture out of the network, um, just to keep our uh, tiles expanding here a little bit faster. So we'll get that next. And oh, you finished the thing. So yeah, um, servo machinery is next. Cause yeah, battle suits. Of oh, battle suits, and we've got we've got ten titanium. Remember, I was telling you before that uh, purity likes titanium as as much as it likes floatstone. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Oh, and we get our we get our improved sea units, so we're going to be even more of a naval powerhouse here. Um, land units against sea units. You know what? I see, I see our guys being more uh, of of sea per, sea per, supremacy. Um, so you know what? I think I might uh, take the uh, the C units upgrade. We'll work on that later. Um, all right. So our next uh, our next one is um, we'll probably get it with servo machinery. Our next uh, affinity level here. All right. All right, and that being said, I think that's a good stopping point. So in our next episode, what do you want? You know, Kevika wants some floatstone. Well, you know what? We can spare some floatstone right now. We'll, we'll, we'll deal with the diplomacy, and then I'll end the episode. Um, for a favor? Yeah, good to have some favors. Since I, uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll hand you over some floatstone. I'm not using it right now. Those battle suits are going to be using my titanium, not my floatstone. Yeah, you can go ahead and do that this time. Okay, that was a downside to having that armor. But my armor uh, stood their ground pretty darn well, actually. Not bad, not bad at all. Um, oh, all right, we're starting to get into some... Uh, um, into some... Um, uh, affinity conflicts here. He he's all gung ho on supremacy. I'm all gung ho on purity. Um, well, we're gonna be trading you some Phyraxite, dude. So uh, turn that frown upside down. Ooh, a new trade you trade route. New Babylon. I'll take that. Uh, please tell me you are. Uh... Yes, you are seaside. Oh, new Babylon. Love you, New Babylon. Love you, long time. All right. Well, the next uh, the next seaside trade unit that uh, um, has their route open up, I'm going to start sending you to New Babylon because uh, that again, alternative markets plus six energy plus the uh, um, yeah energy plus culture. Uh, so this is going to be a good culture uh, hub, which is uh, a nice one. Um, culture is always good to trade for. Magan is back down to zero intrigue. So we are going to take that agent, reassign you. Uh, what was that city that the quest wanted me to go to? Um, to uh, Kirost. All right, well, we will send them there. Not that I have anything against you, uh, Mr. Slav, but that's what the uh, that's what the, uh, the all shady guys want me to do, so hey, why not? 
So, um, as I was saying, if you like this episode and uh, want to see more like it, hit that like button, hit that uh, subscribe button if you have not done so already, and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback is always welcome. So in our next episode, we are going to put a full court press on Brasilia and in this stupid war. So I hope uh, you stick around and enjoy the fireworks. I'll see you next time. Pinstar out.